So let's talk about performance and how it is critical to modern applications. More and more demands are being made on hardware platforms. I teach an algorithms class and we're constantly trying to get better performance out of the algorithms. But there's only so far you can get with algorithms before you hit the ceiling. Big data presents even greater challenges. Imagine going through millions and billions of records and performing calculations on the, that entire data set. Uh, multimedia also presents challenges. Even though the GPUs can take a lot of the processing, there's still a lot of pre-processing that the CPU has to do. So since 2005, clock speeds have not increased. That means we've got to do something in order to improve performance besides just increasing the clock speeds. But yes, Moore's Law continues on its projected path as a result of things such as vectorization and multi-threading. So we're going to be talking about Intel Advisor XE. That's the tool we're going to be using for the vectorization. Sometimes it's called Vectorization Advisor. And this will lead you through the process of optimizing your code. So here we see an example where you, you could add two vectors. Notice there's a vector in the top row, another vector in the second row, and the resulting vector in the third row. So this is the exact thing that vectorization is good at. What used to be a serial operation, for instance, it would add 4.4 to negative 0.3, and then it would move on and add 1.1 to negative 0.5, and so forth. And it would do these operations one at a time. But now, with SIMD, which stands for Single Instruction Multiple Data, it can actually add four of these at the same time, thus saving a ton of processing time. So how many simultaneous pieces of data can it add? Well, it depends on how big the data is. In the best case, it can add 16 bytes at a time. In other cases, it goes from there. For instance, for shorts or words, it'll add eight of them. For 32-bit words, for 32-bit integers, it can add four of them at a time. So, and it goes on down from there. Okay, so now let's take a look at some code. And I have written a fairly simple program. It's using a 2D array of integers. And this is pretty simple code to initialize it. Okay, and I'm getting the timing here, the start time, the end time. And that's, those are just milliseconds. Let me just go ahead and run it here. Okay, 2,078 milliseconds. And what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and run Vectorization Advisor here and see what it says, see what it thinks about what we've done here. Okay, and it will run this and do a survey analysis of this program. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, it's only giving me one part piece of code that was vectorized. To me, that's fairly surprising. And that was the initialization code, where it just set the starting values in the data array. I would have thought that there was another place where it would have vectorized. Okay, so this is valuable information that what I was hoping it would vectorize, it didn't. Okay, so let's take a look at these other pieces of information. So let's see if we can find out. Okay, so it says vectorization is possible here. Okay, let's see if we can get some more information. But seems inefficient. Okay, so that gives us a big clue. So now we have some options. Let's go ahead and set a breakpoint here. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this with debugging on. When we get there, we'll go ahead and see a disassembly. And 
take a look at this code. There is absolutely no vectorization opcodes there. There is absolutely, it's not vectorized in the least. So that's a really big clue. Besides vectorization advisor telling us that it wasn't vectorized, we can actually go and see that for ourselves. So let's get rid of this breakpoint for right now. And what we'll do is we're going to add a preprocessor that tells the auto vectorizer to use an SIMD reduction. This should allow the vectorization to actually work now. Okay, rebuild this. And just for the heck of it, let's run it, see what kind of a timing we get. Okay, before it was 2,000, about 2,000 milliseconds. Now it's a bit less, 1765 milliseconds. And let's run Vectorization Visor and see what it's going to tell us. Okay, we'll start it up again. Now it's got all the data collected. And as you can see, there are actually two vectorizations here. This one did not vectorize to a very high efficiency. However, it did vectorize. Remember, we went from 2,000 milliseconds to 1,700 milliseconds. So we actually noticed that in real time, that there wasn't a huge improvement, but there was some improvement. So Vectorization Advisor bears that out for us. So in conclusion, Vectorization makes applications a lot faster. Auto vectorization helps, but as we saw, Vectorization Advisor can let you know where there are additional places you can gain. So this was part one. Part two will go a lot more in depth.